guys welcome back okay so we're having another episode of coffee and color with kk okay y'all know i got my cup of joe here with me today and i'm using my cute little m m cup that i got in vegas when i was out there with my boo about i don't know five years ago <laughs> but yeah i got my little m m cup you can't see the m m hold on this is the chocolate m m okay and it does have mrs brown here on the cup just in case you don't know my last name is brown mrs brown if you're nasty okay <laughs> but anyway yes i'm having my hazelnut coffee this morning with some hazelnut creamer and some rock sugar i don't know if you guys are not familiar y'all should try out the rock sugar the beet rock sugar it's really really good very smooth delicious you know if you like that type of thing in your coffee i like it so anyway today in this episode of Coffee and Color with KK, let me go ahead and give some disclaimers, okay? First disclaimer is, my neighbor's dogs is wilding out today. I don't know why they decide to wild out today, right now, when I decide to film, but yeah, they wilding, and I mean wilding, okay? I got my dogs under control, but the neighbor's ankle biters wanna wild out, so y'all might hear some barking. Just ignore it. Second disclaimer, okay. Um, this side of my face decided to try and cancel my YouTube beauty career. Y'all see this? It's just like, uh, uh, just all kind of nonsense going on. This side is, is kicking it. It's okay, it's kicking it. But this side is like, mm-mm, we, we gonna mess you up today, so whatever. So just ignore that. It's good though, because I'm trying out a new foundation today, so we're going to see if this is going to cover up this nonsense going on or not. But yes, I'm going to talk about these different products, trying some new products, some not so new, but new to me. And I just want to go ahead and do my makeup today, okay? So as you can see, I don't have no eyebrows or nothing. And I'm in a talkative mood, so sorry <laughs> anyway i'm gonna start out by doing my eyebrows i'm going to use my la girl slim shady okay i'm not trying a new eyebrow product or pencil today because you know it's one of the things where if it ain't broke don't fix it so i'm not trying to fix it today so we're gonna use the slim shady pencil and fill in these brows okay now you guys i told my girls that i'm going to try and grow out my natural tresses okay my natural hair and my hair ain't never been long enough to call them tresses <laughs> so i told them i'm gonna go ahead and try to grow out my natural hair okay if y'all don't know i am a relaxed girl i am with the creamy crack as they say okay because i just have never had the patience to deal with my natural kinky hair because y'all my hair will fight back okay <laughs> it's not just gonna talk mess it's gonna fight back as well so i've never had the patience to deal with my natural hair but i said you know what i'm gonna try and get my life together okay i'm going on a whole you know where i'm trying to eat better i'm trying to eat better you know make sure i drink lots and lots of water every day and you know i've been drinking my water that's why i don't know why this side of my face decided to act a fool but i've been drinking my water and in addition to that i'm going to try and get my hair to be healthy again now the reason why i say <clears throat> try to get it to be healthy again is because i've never really taken proper care of my hair if you're a regular viewer on my channel, you know I love to change my hairstyle like I change my underwear, okay? Constantly. And in this day and age, it's not a big deal, you know, because a lot of people wear wigs, weaves, extensions, whatever, so it ain't nothing. You just slap on some new hair just like you putting on a new pair of earrings. So that's typically what I do. Now, <laughs> just some history on my hair issues okay when i was in elementary school yes eons and eons ago when i was in elementary school i had um 
a jerry curl. <laughs> now, I don't know. If you don't know what a jerry curl is, go ahead and Google it and get you a good laugh. But yeah, back then, a lot of us had jerry curls. It was, you know, a different type of perm for your hair where it just kind of relaxed your own curl, but you actually used rollers and a chemical and all that stuff to make it super duper curly. You had to keep all this greasy juice in your hair to keep it moisturized. You know, it was just a curly, juicy, nasty mess. You know, you couldn't lean your head up against nothing because everything would get jerry curl juice on it. You know, because you had to use <laughs> all the products in your hair just to keep it nice and curly and shiny and sha-popping as they say, okay? So, I had a jerry curl in elementary school, you know. My hair was healthy, it was cute, it was all of that. And <laughs> my older sister, now I have quite a few older sisters, but my older sister Jackie, okay, she was always with the different hair stuff and you know, finding out what was hot, you know, the latest trend or whatever. So she was like, oh, we should perm your hair. We should straighten it. Let's go ahead and perm it. You about to go into junior high, you know, this is the summer between the sixth grade and the seventh grade. So she was like, yeah, let's straighten it, let's perm it, cause it's gonna be pretty. You be looking all cute in junior high. Let's go ahead and hook you up, right? So, <laughs> I'm like, okay, you know, I'm 11, 12 years old. I don't know, I ain't got no sense. I don't know nothing about chemicals and stuff making your hair fall out. But anyway, so I go ahead and I let my sister relax my hair and back then you know you could buy a perm for like two or three dollars out you know at the uh local drugstore or whatever so i let my sister perm my hair on top of my jerry curl <laughs> okay yes on top of my jerry curl so i'm pretty sure you guys know where this is going okay Oh, okay, so I bought some new brushes. Y'all, I spend way too much time on Amazon. Way too much time on Amazon. But I bought some new brushes. Y'all know I'm a brush freak. <laughs> and this brush set I got from Amazon, I'll link it below. And I wanna actually try these out. So I'm gonna be using some of these today. And also from my local Raggedy Marshalls, okay, I found this little gem here, these two Japanese brushes. And I'm pretty sure this is a pretty nice brand. But I got these for like $6.99 and $5.99, so I picked these up to try today. But anyway, so I'm gonna be using these brushes from Amazon. So, okay, she perms my hair on top of the jerry curl, okay? And of course, at first, it's like, oh, it's the bomb, it's your popping, hair flowing, hair glowing, whatever. Okay, not even two days later, my hair starts to fall out like literally fall out not only fall out i'm using my wet and wild concealer by the way fall out but break off and mind you y'all know okay when i was coming up junior high started at seventh grade and going to junior high was very nerve-wracking because it's like okay you're going to school with the big kids now you know no more elementary school you're going to school with the big kids and you know, there is definitely a layer of <laughs> like seniority, superiority, you know, peasanthood and all of that when you start junior high. At least it was when I was coming up. So seventh grade was very, very scary. And so I'm like, okay, I gotta go to the seventh grade where, you know, senior, uh, the, well, the ninth graders are not seniors, but the ninth graders were the highest grade in junior high. So, you know, I'm like, okay, I gotta go to junior high. These ninth graders, eighth graders are gonna be teasing me already because I'm the newbie at the school, the youngest at the school, you know? So it's like going to seventh grade was very intimidating when I was coming up. So now, not only am I going to the seventh grade, starting out with all these older kids that's gonna tease me anyway just for being a runt. Now they gonna tease me for being bald headed. <laughs> you know, it was just, 
it was not good okay it was just not good so anyway that's my little junior high nightmare story in regards to my hair um that i'm sharing with you guys i don't know if any of you guys have had any nightmare stories growing up as a kid or even as an adult <laughs> trying something crazy or stupid with your hair you know let me know down below but yeah so needless to say seventh grade was very very rough on me eventually of course my hair grew back in and all that stuff but it was a long bumpy ride okay because in junior high i didn't have the nicest clearest skin okay i had bad skin along with you know my hair falling out so you know it was just like dang you know needless to say my mom was not happy <laughs> that my sister did that of course she didn't know she was doing it but still she was not happy and neither was I this brush is cool I like the shape of it but it's a little bit too soft for what I'm trying to do right now so anyway needless to say my mom was not happy about that at all now the good thing is my hair did grow back thankfully so <laughs> thank god for small blessings but by the time i reached high school that was when the whole tony braxton halle berry you know cute little shortcut and stuff was in so i ended up shaving the back of my head and cutting my hair off anyway okay you guys so to prime my lids once again i'm using my bad habit eyeshadow primer today i've only used this once before in another video and it was okay it wasn't too bad so i'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids with this today before we get started okay you guys that's as good as it gets with the primer not too bad i actually think it's okay i don't like it better than my mac paint pot but it's cool okay so the palette i'm using today is this becca volcano goddess okay i have given this palette such a hard time it's a pretty palette it has a beautiful big mirror in here it's becca so it's beautiful the packaging is gorgeous as you can see looking at the outer packaging you'll be like oh that's gonna be bomb but opening it up aside from this last row here the rest of this palette really gives me pause <laughs> But I bought it anyway, okay? I was peer pressured into buying it, so I bought it anyway during the holiday sales. So I'm gonna go ahead and test this puppy out today. Now, I'm not expecting much because as far as transition shades go, mm-mm, mm-mm. But we are gonna go ahead and use it, <laughs> okay? So, you know what? Let me go ahead and just do a few swatches just to check it out and see what's happening. Okay. Okay, so yeah, the shimmers are definitely should popping up in here, but I'm really, really afraid of these mattes. Very afraid. Well, I'm hoping maybe this dark gray kind of metallic shimmer, I might be able to use that to deepen my crease as well. I don't know, but. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna start out by taking this shade here, granite, because that's really, the darkest transition shade <laughs> that's in here. So I'm gonna start out with that. And I'm just going to use this large, am I gonna use this big ass brush? That's kind of big. It's so hard sometimes when I'm using new brush sets because of the fact that you know you have your favorites so you just go to them, you know exactly what they are gonna do and how they are gonna work. So adjusting to a new set can be a little bit tricky, but I'm going to use this a large, it's kind of like a little bit of a denser blending brush. I love the fact that they're white. I love the kind of rose gold detailing. It's very, very pretty. And you know, they're nice and thick, so easy to hold. So anyway, let's go ahead and try this transition shade. Y'all see anything? <laughs> it's like a really, really light taupey shade. So it's all good. Now I'm going to go into this shade here, which is Crater. So I'm gonna take Crater and I'm going to place that in my crease area and see what happens. I 
I will say though, these eyeshadows are very smooth. They are very smooth, very nice, blending out very nicely. Now this shadow here is a bit of a shimmer or satin. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it is a bit of a satin and so it's not matte, but thank God that it's creating a little bit of depth in my crease area. Yeah, these shadows are very, very nice. I like them a lot. I just wish the color story was better, a little bit more brown girl friendly, but it's gorgeous. Very, very nice to work with. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into some color because it's not too much else I can do. So I'm gonna start off with this gorgeous blue shade in here and I'm going to place that towards the outer portion of my lid, I think. And I'm not gonna spray my brush. I'm just gonna try to dry and see what happens. Nope, that ain't gonna work. So I'm gonna have to clean off this flat brush that I used to conceal under my brows because I don't have another flat brush really to use out of this set. That's why I use like five million different sets of brushes, you guys, because I have to be able to have the brushes I need. <laughs> so I'm using my color switch, y'all, for the first time, okay? And we gonna see if this thing work, okay? Okay, so I had to dig into the blue just to get a little bit here on the brush. It looks like it's gonna be one of those shadows that swatches better than it actually performs. Okay, so that's pretty, it's nicely pigmented. I like it, that's pretty. It does feel like it's a little bit hard pressed in the pan because I am having to dig into the pan a little bit just to pick up the blue. Now I'm just taking the brush that had that dark gray crease color and just kind of blending it out a little bit with that outer corner with the blue. Okay, so that helped give me a little bit more of a smoky effect on the outer corner and in my crease. Now I'm gonna go into some of these beautiful copper and gold shimmers. So I'm gonna take this one here, which is lava. I'm gonna take lava and place that on the rest of my lid. But I do wanna use this for something. But yeah, I'm gonna take those two and figure out what I'm gonna do with those on my lid. Now this is the true test of this color switch because I'm gonna try and get this blue off of here. So I can go into that lava shade. Okay. It's acting like it's clean. Okay, so let me try it dry first. Hello, okay. Okay, and so now I'm running out of brush options. I'm going to use this flat angled brush, which is a little big, but I'm going to use it for the gold shade here, Gilded. Okay, you guys, so that's about all I can do for now. So let me go ahead and hit these eyes with some eyeliner. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the face, you guys. I'm using for moisturizer today this little sample from Youth to the People. And this is, what is it, like kale, green tea, spinach, <laughs> and hyaluronic acid. Okay, so it's supposed to be a really nice, healthy moisturizer for your face. So I'm going to use this. Thick. I don't think it's supposed to be thick. I might have had mine a little too long or maybe the top wasn't on very tight because I have used it before a couple of times and it doesn't seem like it was this thick, but <laughs> it smells really good and it actually feels really good too, so. Okay, and so for primer today, I'm using my Yves Saint Laurent Touche Clat, <laughs> and this is the blurring primer. And this stuff, you guys, it is fancy schmancy. And the reason why I took this out to try it out again is because with the Sephora sale coming up, I'm actually thinking about purchasing this expensive stuff, okay? Because the last couple of times that I've used it from this sample, I really like this stuff. I like how it feels on my skin. I like how it makes my skin look. I just think it's a really, really nice 
primers. I'm thinking so. about purchasing one of these during a sale, y'all. This stuff is like $52 or something like that, but I want it. <laughs> I want it. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm using a foundation that's new to me. It's not new to the market at all, but it's new to me. It's the Burt Be Burt's Bees Goddess Glow. And this is what it looks like. And I really don't tend to purchase Burt Bees, Burt's Bees <laughs> products, but I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and try this out. So I have the color Coco. Coco. And it's fairly thick. So this is what it looks like. Let's start on this side since this side looks like, <laughs> looks like a pickle. Okay. So I definitely would not say that it's full coverage. You can still see my spots poking through and this scar right here from a crazy out, breakout uh, you can still see that I'm gonna put okay so you see I'm putting foundation right on top of that and see you can see it's still poking through I am applying quite a bit of product but since I do like to use a beauty blender I do prefer the way beauty blenders make foundation and concealer look on my face I just don't really care for brushes I used to use brushes all the time but I don't know I just I have to be in the mood to use a brush for my cream products the color match is a little bit deep it's a little bit deep and you know I was thinking it might be when I was in the store trying to pick it out but you know when you're looking it's kind of hard to tell sometimes but you can see just looking <laughs> at my chest that cocoa is a little deep for me but my concealer is gonna fix it okay so for concealer today I'm trying out this L'Oreal infallible full wear concealer and this I think is the newer one that everybody's been raving about and I'm really really excited to try it out on myself and this is color number 415 honey Feels nice and creamy, nice and smooth. The color looks pretty opaque. Looks, It looks like it's gonna give me a decent amount of coverage. Why do I feel like I use too much? Okay, coverage, okay. I definitely don't have to use that much. Now, as far as this shade goes, I don't know. It feels a little bit yellow to me. A little bit yellow, but we'll see after I blend everything out. Because as you guys can see, I do have a little, you know, a bit of a golden undertone. So, now although the foundation is not full coverage, I'm really not mad at it. I kind of like the nice, healthy glow. I'm really not mad at it at all. It feels nice. It doesn't feel super heavy. It does have a weird smell to it. The foundation, I'm talking about the foundation, not the concealer. It does have a weird smell to it. I can't say it stinks. It just, it has a weird smell to it. It doesn't smell good. Now the concealer does smell good. The coverage on this concealer is ridiculous. I mean, it's basically spreading out to my whole face, so I definitely did not need to use that much. Now, I would say if I was going to repurchase it, I would look for a color that's a little bit warmer, a little bit less yellow than this one to use, but my local drugstore had about one shade for me to choose from for my skin tone. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Collab Setting Powder just for under my eyes and my highlighted area. And then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Bronzing Powder for the rest of my face, because I like to use this as a setting powder. I like the color. And then we will move on with the rest of these products. This brush is mad soft. Oh, it feels good. It's super duper soft. So for contour today, I do want to try something new out. I have this Morphe Brontour that I purchased from Ulta not too long ago. And so I want to try this out. This one is 
Showmance. Showmance. And it comes in a cute little compact. There's a mirror in here and these are the colors in here. And since this sliver is so small, I'm going to use one of the new brushes, but I'm going to be able to use this powder brush because it is a smaller brush. And these brushes, when the powder brush is this small, I don't like it. I like large powder brushes for my face, but this is perfect for what I wanna do right now. So I just wanna dip and see just how dark it is. Okay, so I see it. It's giving me a little bit of a cast, a little bit of a shadow. I can definitely see it. I like it. I do, I like it. It's a little bit more cool tone than the Morphe one, the other Morphe bronzer that I actually, you know what, it is, I think, a little bit more on the cool side. I don't know, it could just be my imagination compared to this Glamour Bronze that I just bought recently. What do you guys think? It looks a little bit more cool tone, a little bit deeper maybe than this one. Like if I mix these two together, I'll come up with this, but I like both of them, okay? I like them both. Okay, so I did get some new ColourPop blushes recently in a little ColourPop order. I think I'm gonna go with this one because this one is a little more kind of orangey peachy. So I'm gonna go with this one. This one is the Super Shock Cheek from the Bretman Rock Collection and it's called Stop It. <laughs> Stop It. Now I'm really curious about these blushes because these are, oh you guys, I forgot I had this uh, angled brush. I was gonna use this for my contour, but I forgot, whatever, I'll use it next time. This brush is bomb, I like it. It's popping. it's soft, it's very nice to hold, and I think it bronzed me up really nicely. Okay, so this is what these blushes look like. As you can see, I've already swatched it, but they're kind of like a cream to powder situation. So let's see if I'll be able to control the pigment on this. And I'm going to use this brush from my new set. You know, these sets give you all kind of instructions of what to use for what, and I use them for what works best for me because a lot of times they don't give you everything that you need, so. I'm using this for blush today. I hate the fact that the tip is orange because I can't see how much I'm putting on the, <laughs> on the brush. Okay. I just put a little bit on there. I'm so bronzy. It's like, can you even see it? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Not much though. But I think it's only because I'm so bronzy, not because it's not pigmented. It's very pretty. It's just like a nice flush of color on my cheeks. Okay, next for highlight, I'm going to use a palette that I haven't used in a long time, okay? This is my Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise highlighter palette. So I'm going to play around with this today. These are the highlighters that are in this palette, if you want to see it up close. So it's a nice variety of highlighters in here for all types of skin tones. Of course, because I'm so bronzy today, I'm going to use this dark one here. Okay. All right, Bretman. Okay, so to finish up these eyes, I'm going back into the palette and I'm going into the, oh, you know what, that's pretty. No, I better not. I'm going into this shade here that I used in my crease and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line. And this brush is like super duper soft, so it's like it could be a good thing for certain looks, but for what I'm trying to do, I wish it was a little bit firmer. Okay, so let me go ahead and try out one of these new liners from my Mega mega box up here that I bought <laughs> from Amazon. You guys, if you haven't seen my latest haul, then I did purchase this giant collection of eyeliners from Amazon. I'll link it up above just in case you wanna check it out. 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna grab this color here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try out this blue. So she has a little bit of shimmer to it. For mascara, I'm going to use this Pixi by Petra mascara. And I don't really care for it. I don't really care for the wand, but since I did open it up, <laughs> I am going to use it. This is what the wand looks like. It's one of those hard plastic ones with the teeny tiny bristles on it. And I believe these are supposed to be good for lengthening. And I'm one of those, since I don't wear false lashes, I really like, I actually like mascaras that thicken and clump. <laughs> I like for my lashes to get a little bit clumpy because it adds volume. So I don't really care for ones that just lengthen and don't add volume because mm, that doesn't work for me. So I mean, but it's not a bad mascara. It's actually nice. I just wish the brush itself was shaped a little bit differently. Now the one thing I do like about this mascara is that it has two wands in it. So this one opens up to the regular mascara, but you have another wand here that is for your lower lash line. So it's a lot skinnier, a lot tinier. So I do like that because you can easily coat your lower lash line. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm feeling really bronzy and gold today, I guess, because everything is just shimmer shimmer but anyway i'm going to go in for my lips with this italia lip liner i got this off of amazon it was like a pack of 12 or something like that and it's like a lot of beautiful burgundies and browns lip liner i was actually looking for like a dupe for that mac lip liner that everybody's always talking about i don't know what is it chestnut or something i don't know but <laughs> I asked my girl Lily and she was like, yeah, get those lip liners from Amazon. So we're gonna try this out today. And this one is just called 1040 Brown. For lipstick, I'm gonna use my Galactic Beauty lipstick and this one is in the color Posh. Oh, this smells really good too. It feels like a creamy matte, so I really like it. I think it goes nicely with this look. <laughs> it fits in nicely, but it smells really, really good. And I did get this from one of my monthly subscription boxes, you guys. I do get some good stuff in there sometime. So it's drying down, I can feel it drying down. You can probably see it going a little bit more matte the longer that it's on, but it's pretty comfortable. Yeah, it's not really sticky. I like it. It smells good, it feels okay, good. Okay, to set this look off today, I'm going to use my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Oh, y'all wanna see my shirt? It's cute, ain't it cute? <laughs> I thought it was cute, yeah. I spent way too much time on Amazon, y'all, cause I saw these cute little t-shirts, I was like, Add to cart. <laughs> anyway, so this is it, you guys. This is the look for today. I'm feeling rather bronzy today. Now, the eyeshadow palette, although I wish there were a few, just a couple, even one more, <laughs> brown girl friendly transition shade in that palette that would, you know, allow me to warm up the look a little bit more. It's a nice palette. I was giving it a hard time. It is a nice palette. The actual shadows themselves are very creamy, very nice, very easy to use, easy to blend out. The shimmers are very, very pretty. Definitely a volcano goddess feeling from this eye look today. The blue, while it is very, very pretty, nicely pigmented, it's not like that bright, bright, crazy blue you know the kind that I like to use so it is nice for a little toned down addition of color okay so it's not one of those blues that you would have to be afraid of but the shimmers definitely amazing I love them as far as this color here helping me out in my crease I'm very thankful that that is at least in there that helped me to deepen my crease a bit but 
this whole section of this palette is not going to get touched by me. If I use this palette again, I would definitely have to use it as a companion palette just so I can have more options for my crease, my, you know, upper eyelid space. But other than that, this is a very nice palette. Now for the foundation, <laughs> y'all. I feel like it definitely lives up to its name. It's definitely giving me a glow. Even after putting my powder and everything on, I'm still glowy. <laughs> so I do like it. As you saw, the color is a little bit deep, a little bit rich for me, but I was able to work it out with my concealer. The concealer, I love it. The concealer is very full coverage, nice and creamy, not drying. As you can see, it's fitting right in with everything else glowing on my face. So this infallible concealer, I really do like. As far as everything else, oh, the Morphe Brontour. I'm feeling it. I like the bronzer. I like it just as much as the other bronzer that I bought, the Glamour Bronze. I like them both equally. I think for this one, if I want something a little bit deeper, a little bit more cool tone, this is what I will use. If I want something a little bit more brown, a little bit warmer, then I will use the Glamour Bronze. So I like them both though, but anyway, I like how this look came out. It's very kind of soft, subtle, lackadaisical for me, but I had a good time creating this look. I know you guys noticed that I wasn't really singing and having my music going and all that stuff. I was a little chilly chill. I was watching some YouTube videos while I was doing this look. And YouTube be trying to stick me for my paper, okay? Shoot, sure. if you put three seconds of a song in your video, honey, you demonetized, okay? So, with that being said, <laughs> any future music in my videos will probably be brought to you by yours truly, singing a cappella, okay? <laughs> so, anyway, you guys, that's enough of me yakking. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this Coffee and Color with KK, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!